Hey guys, welcome back to Heavy Metal Horizons. So if you guys are looking for an awesome backup battery solution for all of your radio gear, this is the bad boy you want right here. So this is from a company called Lee Time, and you might look at it and you think, oh, well, it's a car battery, right? And you're just using a car battery to power your radio gear. But it's actually way, way more than that. Now, yes, this is in a Group 27 battery size, but this is a lithium iron phosphate based battery. And this is really meant for your deep cycle type battery usage. So if you're going to run it on an RV or a, like a trolling motor on a boat, or you're going to capture energy with a solar panel and store it, or really any time where you need long term backup battery power. And there's a couple reasons why this is so good for your radio and in particular ham radio operations. It's not just that the battery will last a long time and it definitely will, but this has a super high continuous wattage output. So you could use this to run a high powered amplifier or any radio gear, you know, 12 volt based, 13.8 volts uh, based radio gear where you need to run a high power setting. This battery can do it. For example, maybe you have a large repeater setup and you want to run it off grid or you want to have a really robust backup system. Do you guys remember seeing the Los Angeles fires back in January of 2025? Well, that was all initially caused by a really gnarly windstorm that knocked down a bunch of power lines and power poles and this kind of stuff. And the local ham radio repeaters in the LA area were also victim to this. They lost their power and so the repeaters weren't working. And we always like to talk about, oh well, you know, when all else fails, ham radio is there, but at least when it comes to the repeaters that rely on grid power, that wasn't the case, at least back then. But if they'd had it running as a backup off something like this, this could not only run the transmitter at basically whatever full power you need it to be at, but also this would run for a very, very long time. Now, there's a bunch of other cool things about this. This battery only weighs about 20 pounds, which is way, way better than a traditional lead acid car battery. The other thing is this is all new and fancy and everything. And using your phone, there's an app that connects to the battery via Bluetooth, which gives you all the information, power usage, current voltage, as well as the remaining capacity in amp hours and even the temperature of the battery. And if we're talking about using this off grid or in a backup situation, uh, the connection is directly between the phone and the battery. So you don't have to be connected to the internet or anything like that in order for this to work. And of course, through that, you can monitor the power usage as you're using the battery. This is also a lot more durable than a traditional lead acid battery. You can drop this thing off the back of your truck and not worry about it leaking. Now, the other big thing with this is you might say, well, I'll just use a traditional power bank, right, that you'd buy off of Amazon or something like that. But when it comes to the actual amount of reserve power that you're getting, you get way more for your money with a battery like this compared to a power bank. When you go to buy this, the regular price is $299, so about $300, right? But you're getting 1,280 watt hours of reserve power with this thing. If you compare the prices to power banks and how much reserve power they have, you're, for the same amount of money, you'll be getting something like 480 or maybe 500, maybe at the most 600 watt hours. So you're really doubling the actual power that you're getting with this battery in terms of the cost. Now, when it comes to powering radio gear specifically, uh, there's some really nice practical considerations. You just unscrew these bolt ends for the positive and negative. You can then easily connect your positive and negative leads to your radio or your amplifier or everything together. And in a pinch, even if you just had raw wire ends, you could stick them down here and screw this back in and you're still gonna get a good connection. Now, as an example, I've got an 80 watt amplifier here on my VHF unit in my secret hideout, right? If I had this battery fully charged, I could run my radio plus the 80 watt amplifier transmitting time for more than 12 hours continuously off this battery. Now, realistically, there's no reason for me to do that. And if I didn't use the amplifier, if I run just the radio itself at say 25 watts or down to 10 watts, then you're looking at days transmitting time 
right, talk time running off this battery. The standby just receive time you could measure in weeks, maybe even months with this. The other thing is these batteries are all UL tested and they have a five year warranty. So I've got this battery that I'm gonna keep here in my Radio Shack and I'll probably get a second one to keep it at home to run my radio setup there in case of emergencies. Okay, but let me know what you think of this as a backup power solution for running your radio gear. It's super easy to use. Yes, it's $300, but you know, ham radio gear can be very expensive. And if you wanna use it when the power is off, this is a great solution for that. Now, I'm gonna have links for everything I was talking about in the video, especially for the battery, down in the video description below. And guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll talk to you very soon.